I'm Saturday Hunting for you guys today. How bad have you guys been this Black Friday? Somebody just needs to come and disconnect my internet. We'll just put it that way. There are some really good deals out there. I'm going to start off with um, an order that I placed. I want to say it started on like Tuesday or Wednesday on Pharmacy. They kind of started their Black Friday sale and it was over I think $120. You got 30% off. So I stocked up on some of the things that I use quite often which are their cleansing balms. So I got another one of the Very Cherry Clean uh, Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm which I feel like the formulation is just the same as the original except for it has a cherry scent that's really it's really nice. I really like the scent of the cherry version. I wish that they would make it a permanent selection because right now it is limited edition. Um, so I got another one of those and then they had this set and it was the same price as the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm which is this guy right here in a full size but it came with these two. So I got the set um, and it was the same price as the big cleansing balm but I also got the 30% off of it so um, I think I tried a sample of the honey drop before and I enjoyed it um, but I never purchased the full size and it's been a while since I tried the honey potion so I thought this was a nice little deal with the two that are in there so I got this guy I didn't go overboard buying the cleansing balms like I usually do when they have a sale because I have a few on backup already but I just absolutely love that stuff it's one that I can use twice as a double cleanse and it just it cleans the skin and gets makeup off so so well so I just love that stuff and then I'm at the very tail end of the very cherry bright 15% clean vitamin C serum this is a relatively new product that came out from pharmacy I want to say it came out in like September so I've been using it I want to say since September when the Sephora sale went on is when I bought it and I have just a little bit left so it was prime time for me to go ahead and pick up another one of these this also has that really nice cherry scent but it comes from the cherry water that's in here not like an added fragrance or anything like that but this is one of the very few vitamin C serums that I have found that doesn't aggravate or irritate my skin and I also feel like the serum itself kind of adds an extra hydration to my face which I absolutely love so I got another one of these guys and then I want to say the day that they started the sale the day they released their new cheer up brightening vitamin c eye cream i was so excited about this i've got the uh it's in a jar packaging there's a half ounce of product i have it in my bathroom right now but i used it for the first time last night i don't feel like the smell is quite as cherry as the other ones but i did use it over one of my other serums like eye serums that i use and this morning i do feel like my eyes felt quite hydrated it's much too soon to kind of give a full opinion on it but last night when i used it i really enjoyed it no ear no redness no little bumps or anything like that so um, I'm excited about this guy I love I just love pharmacies products and their new cherry line I've been enjoying every product they've came out with the cherry word in it <laughs> next up I placed an order on the Beautylish website I had seen that RC May came out with their no color powder in a pressed form which I was like that just sounds so convenient if you're familiar with the original no color powder it comes in a tube like this which I also purchased this because I ran out of my other bottle that I refill kind of a sifter jar so I went ahead and I got another one of the loose powders which I absolutely love to set underneath my eyes um, I've used it also for all over the face and it looks really pretty like that as well but that container is quite messy so when I saw that they came out with it in a pressed version I just thought that was going to be like perfect so it's the original no color pressed setting powder there's eight and a half grams of product this is the box packaging and then inside you do have a mirror and then there's your pressed powder um i've used this and it's nothing like the original in my opinion <laughs> um it kind of came off in like little flaky bits that went on and then I had to kind of like brush those off and I didn't feel like it made my under eyes look pretty like the loose version um so what I'm going to end up using this for is just kind of kind of a you know how you use like a degreasing powder just to take the shine down that's probably what I'm going to use this for even though I've used it like that a couple times as well and I still get little flakes of white powder on my face that I have to brush off but um I'm not crazy about this guy this I, I don't feel like this is anything like the original version also from Beautylish I saw this royal and urban princess collection from Jill Stewart this is the box packaging the set itself just looks so pretty and the compacts in particular 
just sold me and I'm like I don't need these products for the packaging but I do <laughs> so I went ahead and I purchased it and they do come in a really pretty like it's like a lace bag with a it's like a meshy lace material on the outside and a little bow there and I saw it sold out currently on Beautylish but it does say returning soon so I'm hoping that they're going to get more in stock so this little guy comes with four pieces you get an eyeliner and it's called the shimmering gel eyeliner and it's kind of a sparkly burgundy color and I swatched this on my hand and it like stayed there all day long. I have not used it on my waterline which is how I use a pencil eyeliner mostly. Um, and this t particular color because my eyes are really light it'll pull the red out in my eyes and make them look a little bloodshot. So my mom loves colors like this for on the upper lash line so I think I'm going to pass this on to her. But the color is really pretty. It's got silver little sparkles in it. But I was really impressed with the, the wear time on my hand. The waterline is always another story, which is where I would use something like this. But I'm tempted to try another one of her gel eyeliners in a color that I will wear to see how well it will wear on the waterline because it's, it's posing pretty promising. And then it comes with a lip gloss and the packaging on this, again, is super cute. It's a shimmering uh, kind of mauve pink shade in a squeezy applicator. Ma's going to score here too because she's probably going to get this guy as well because I don't wear lip gloss that often. You guys are like, probably, why did you buy the set? Well, because the compacts. <laughs> so here's the illuminating face powder, 0.24 ounces of product in here. And look at this packaging. It is just beautiful. I have not used this yet because I can't bear to mess up the lace overspray that's on there this is going to be hard to see but there's a lace white overspray on this portion i've swatched the bottom and it's just a baby pink kind of translucent powder when i do buck up and brush away the overspray i'll probably try it as a setting powder underneath the eyes and if it doesn't look pretty there it'll be one of those powders again um, by default powders that don't look good underneath the eyes become like degrease powders <laughs> um that's probably what i'll use it for but i mean to be honest just the packaging of this in itself i just think is it's worth having just because the packaging is so pretty. Um, but here, let me swatch the bottom part so you can see. It's not a shimmering powder by any means. It's just kind of a translucent with a slight bit of baby pink to it. And I think that it will be a really pretty under eye setting powder soon. Soon I shall use it. <laughs> and then it also came with this six shade eyeshadow palette, which comes with the little sponge tip applicators that... Well, I never use them, but all of these shades are shimmery. I would call the top three shimmers, and then the bottom three are shimmers with, like, glitters in them. And did I show you guys the packaging? I gotta show you guys the packaging. Look at the packaging. It's so pretty. I just, it's probably one of those things that I'm going to set out somewhere just because it's so pretty to look at. Um, anyway, we'll stop talking about how pretty the packaging is and swatch these shades here. So... The way that I feel about all the Jill Stewart products that I have purchased, which isn't that many so far, is I kind of feel like they're on trend with the Asian beauty market for sure, where the products are really pretty, but they're really light, if that makes any sense. Nothing overbearing, nothing too intense, just like pretty and soft type of makeup products is the best way that I can describe it. So if you're looking for super intense, super saturated, I don't think Jill Stewart is where it's at for you, but um, I still think that there's a place for products like these. When I opened this up, my mom thought this was so gorgeous. So these two right here are more sheer, like almost glitter topper style shades. And there's that burgundy color. So you can see nothing too intense, but just like soft, pretty shades are, again, the best way I can describe that. And again, oh my gosh, the packaging. So that is the, what I call it, the Royal and Urban Princess Collection from Jill Stewart right there. This is a damp makeup wipe, and I just want to show you guys this eyeliner. <laughs> pretty promising right now I'm going to scrub a little bit harder <laughs> to get it off and then next up I did purchase the blush and the eyeshadow palette from the new KKW and Mario collaboration this is the first blush that I've purchased from KKW and so I got the shade very graceful I thought it would have been cool if they would have put this image on this packaging because I typically toss the boxes but they actually put the image on the palette so 
it's all it's okay it'll be fine <laughs> so anyway here's the blush 0.12 ounces of product here and this is the blush that I have on my cheeks and when I first swatched it with my fingers it felt quite stiff but when I went to put it on with a, a brush it was much easier it like built up really nice and like sheer layers which I kind of like that in a blush so you don't kind of go in too intense and the color is just a really pretty peachy coral color you can see I got a, that's a little bit of hard pan forming from my finger so I'm gonna have to take some tape to get it off but um, the color itself is quite pretty and again this is what I have on my cheeks today for blush and that is the shade very graceful right there and then here is the eyeshadow palette there are 10 shades in here there are 0 0.06 ounces per shade which is a pretty decent amount of product and these are also magnetized in the palette as are all of hers which I really appreciate that so if you want to remove shades or put them all in one big palette or something like that so here is the outside box packaging I think the imagery is great and I love that they put the image on the actual palette I just think it's super pretty and I really get along with the KKW uh, eyeshadow formula. I've got all of her palettes and I really enjoy all of them. So I went ahead and got this guy. And for shimmers, you've got five shimmers and five mattes ranging from a deeper to mid-tone to light, which I really appreciate. There's a shade that's light enough for underneath the brow, a matte one. So uh, for shimmer shades, you've got these three right here. And then you've got this kind of reddish color and then this brown over here. And then the other shades are matte. So let me give you some swatches. This is the palette that I have on my eyes today as well, by the way. That's the blush there. On my skin, this uh, top shade does look a little bit deep for underneath the brow, but I have it on underneath the brow and I thought it turned out nice. So and then this matte yellow, which I think is quite nice. It's like a dirty matte yellow. I did get a little bit of fallout with that darker matte shade, which was this one right here. And then these last two. Very neutral. Nothing new here. But still, I like the I like the color story of it. And I like her uh, shadows. So that is the new palette from KKW and Mario. And again, I just love the print that they put on the cover of the palette instead of just leaving it blank. And then I placed an order on Ulta.com and I used my points so I ended up only spending like 40 bucks or something for quite a bit of stuff. I got those three ColourPop palettes that are like birds, of, I think it's called Birds of a Feather. Um, they're no longer on Ulta but they are on the ColourPop website now. They were exclusive to Ulta for a minute which um, they just released some butterfly palettes, three of them. I couldn't help myself. I purchased all three of them. From Ulta. <laughs> but anyway, I got this Glam Packed Bare Minerals Full Size Makeup Essentials Kit and I had a coupon for $10 off of it. So it says $46, so I got it for $36, plus I used points and stuff like that. Um, it comes with a full size mascara, a mini serum, and a full size mineral veil, and then this palette. So I'll show you the uh, Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion Serum, is what it comes with, and this has got how much product? Uh, 0.25 fluid ounces. Uh, Lashtopia Mega Volume Mineral Based Mascara. I did use this mascara and it's okay. It's not anything to write home about. It's, in my opinion, it's just a mascara. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Nothing like revolutionary. I feel like I had to put like three coats of it on as well to get the kind of volume that I get from the CoverGirl uh, Super Sizer Mascara. And then here's the original Mineral Veil in the full size, which I do use this every now and again just kind of to take down shine or also set makeup. Sometimes I feel like this is a little bit too drying for my skin to set like a foundation. And what I was really after was this Gen Nude Eyeshadow and Blush Palette right here, which also comes in the set. It comes in a cardboard packaging and then there is a mirror in there and I wore this and I don't like this. <laughs> the formulation of these shadows is so thin and I have a drier eyelid type so I do use like a sticky kind of more hydrating primer in that Bare Minerals uh, Bare 
Pro Foundation Stick. It's the foundation stick that I use for eyeshadow primer. And these just were so sheer. And when I started to try to blend the mattes out, they just do not build and blend for me. Like you could see a harsh line of where one shade stopped and the other began. Like I just could not blend it out. The cheek products are okay, but again, the formulation is thinner and drier and it just, it doesn't look that good on my drier skin type. So I'm gonna swatch it for you guys, but my mom was eyeballing this and I think, yep, yeah, mom's gonna get the whole set. <laughs> I'm gonna give the whole thing to her. So let's swatch these cheek products first. Again, they're just very thin. You can see kind of even in the swatch, kind of the crumbliness of them. I just don't like that really thin, dry type of formula. So this guy is just not for me. And I tried their six pan shadows palettes that they had like this. Um, they came out a while ago. And I kind of felt the same way about those. Those were a little bit more substantial than these ones. Um, but I feel like their old ready pressed eyeshadows that they had years ago, which I have tons of, I feel like those are so much better than these. These are like thin and dusty. Those are just like thicker and more substantial shadows, the ready ones. But anyway, if you were interested and you do get along with this formula, there are some swatches of the palette that come in that set right there. And there they are again. Also from Ulta, I got the new Dose of Colors concealers. They're the Meet Your Hue Concealer. And I purchased two shades because now I can no longer go with just the lightest shade in the range, which I used to be able to do, but brands are coming out with even lighter shades, which are which is really great because there are more pale skin tones in mine, and they're also coming out with deeper ones, which is also great. So brands are expanding shade ranges. So I can no longer pick the lightest one because they're becoming too light, but I just didn't know. So I got two of them. They're both supposed to have the cool undertone. I got O2 Fair and O4 Fair. And O2 Fair is much, much too light. Um, I mixed just a dash of this in with O4 and I still feel like I can just get away with using O4. So I might use it as a mixer type of shade. I think this concealer is really nice. It's full coverage. It's easy to blend, but it is a little bit it's a little bit heavier. It's got a lot of coverage to it, um, which I haven't been using a ton of coverage underneath the eyes, especially because my skin is so dry. This weather is just like sucking all the juice right out of it. So this might be a better one for me kind of in the summertime. But uh, let me go ahead and swatch these. Again, I think the concealer is very nice. It's got a large doe tip applicator. This is 02 right here. And then here is 04 which is the other shade that I got. And again, I could have just got away with getting 04. Then I'll just blend these kind of like this. And then together. I also got two shades of the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer from ColourPop. Again, I didn't know what shade to get, so I got Fair 07C and Light 33C. And again, I could have just got the Light 33C. That would have worked because this, uh, what is it? What did I say? Fair? It's kind of hard to read the bottom here. Fair 07C is very, very light. So let me swatch them for you guys. I was wearing this concealer. I want to say it was in my last video. And I feel like it blends nice and it covers nice, but I just, for some reason, I really did not like my under eyes that, that day when I used this concealer. They just look kind of dry or like the skin looked constricted, if that makes any sense. Um, I, I'm going to give them another shot, but I really didn't enjoy the initial use of them. Again, the coverage is nice and they blend nice and everything like that, but there was just something about them and I don't know if it's because you know a hyaluronic formula the way that it sits on the skin or not but let me tell you what shades again uh 30 light 33c right there and fair 07c right there so you can just see how light they are you know because I just have to try every concealer that comes out on the market <laughs> um I will give this another shot and again, this might be a better one for me in the summertime, but I really, I felt like it constricted my skin for some reason. And that's the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer uh, from ColourPop. 
I've got a massive amount of ColourPop eyeshadow palettes to swatch for you guys in a minute, but first, Pat McGrath. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to get my hands on this palette. I've noticed that it's uh, been sold out and people have been on kind of a, a goose chase for it, but I'm thinking that she's going to restock it because it seems to be really popular and she'll probably just make it hopefully part of her core line. But it's the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Divine Rose palette. And the packaging on this guy is just stunning. It is, it's really, really pretty. Um, I've kept the last, I think, three boxes of her palettes because the imagery on them is so pretty. The initial ones I threw away and I'm kind of regarding it, but whatever. Um, this does come with the card inside again with the names on it. I always wish that she would just print the names inside the palette because what I end up doing is cutting this card down because I don't keep the palettes in their box in my collection and then I stick it in the mirror so I can see all of the shades that are in here. And I know there are some repeat shades in here. Um, I know that this one right here came in her last palette, which is the shade Astral Solstice down here. That's one of her special, really uh, reflective, chunky type of shades. Um, I do not mind that there's another one of this because I was grabbing the other palette just to use that shade. It's just so beautiful. Um, this palette here, I had to set this palette down because I've been wearing it every single day since I got it, which was last week sometime. Um, and today I put on the KKW one, but I have been wearing this nonstop. I really didn't expect to be so gung-ho for this palette. The first images that I saw didn't look like anything special, just like a neutral type of palette, but something about the shades in here, so pretty. These are the shades that are in there. Hopefully you guys can see them. Do you want me to read them off? Um, you got skin, sh there, let me read them off and point them if I can manage the two together without dropping something. So here you've got Skin Show Nude, uh, Valoria right here, Sable Bronze, Refined Gold 002, Iridescent Pink 003, that's in a couple palettes, I believe, Extreme Mahogany, Love Lace, Rose Dusk, VR Rose Venus, which I'm pretty sure that's a new one. It's stunning. And then you've got Astral Solstice, and I love this shade. This is the only one like that in here is that chunky type of reflective one. And then these are kind of her baked special formula. Um, then you've got your more standard shadows, which are... Um, these two are sh like shimmer metallics and these two and then these two right here are matte. Um, I was able to use this every time that I've used it with that shade right there underneath the brow which is a shimmer type of shade and it still looked really pretty and I used these two shades as mattes in the crease. Again, something about the combination, I can't stop using it. So anyway, let me give you guys some swatches. I think it's beautiful. I hope that it comes uh, back out relatively soon because I know a lot of people want to get their hands on this guy and for good reason it's a really beautiful um easy to wear really pretty palette i'm just really surprised at how much i've um been wearing this so there are the first four shades right there and then these next ones that that one that looks white that i just swatched is a duochrome with a pink shift to it This guy right here. It definitely goes over with a sticky base the best. But. And then these last two, which are probably my favorite two in the palette. <gasps> can we just? I love this color right here. Um, you can get fallout if you're not careful. I pack it over a sticky base is how I use it and it just turns out so beautiful. Oh, so there are the swatches right there of, what did I say this was called? The Pat McGrath. Did she put a sticker on the back of this one? She did. There's a sticker on the back that has the name, the Mo Mothership Divine Rose. And there's 10 shades, 1.32 grams a piece or 0 0.047 ounces, which is uh, about mid-range in terms of the amount of product that you're getting. But let's look at the swatches one more time. It's beautiful. 
Now I'm going to swatch a bunch of ColourPop palettes that I purchased. Um, I did haul the Night Owl palette in the last video and that is such a beautiful, beautiful neutral palette. If you get the chance, I highly recommend picking that one up. But I also purchased the Bird of Paradise and the Lovebird palette. Um, again, I purchased these off of Ulta.com. They're no longer there, but they I've seen them on the ColourPop website now. And I haven't used these ones yet, but I get along with ColourPop palettes really, really well. Um, so I'm going to swatch them for you guys in case you're interested in that. I'm not sure if they're limited edition or not but the shades in here are stunning as well bird of paradise there are no pressed glitters in here which i do appreciate then you've got four mattes and then one matte with the shimmers in it and four shimmers these are your four shimmers right here there's that matte with the sparkles and then these guys are your matte shades and again did i show you guys this packaging super cute this one is a cardboard with no mirror And they are running a big sale on their website right now as well. And yes, I did. I was bad. I think I placed, okay, two, <laughs> I placed two orders on the ColourPop website and one order on the Ulta website for three ColourPop palettes. Yep. Uh, I'm not stopping with ColourPop any sooner than ColourPop is stopping making ColourPop palettes. <laughs> But that's okay. I think they're affordable and I think they're great. I just love their shadow formula. It's beautiful. How pretty are those colors though, right? So that one is the Bird of Paradise. Right there. And the orange. And then here is the Lovebird palette. Again, cardboard packaging with no mirror. This one does have three pressed glitters in there, which that is one thing. Um, I wish that they would just have their pressed glitters and singles for people to purchase because I just don't like them in the palettes. There's also one Super Shock shadow in here too. So this one isn't my favorite, but there are some pretty shades, like pretty matte shades and one pretty shimmer. Um, I like the potted Super Shock shadows better than the ones in the palette because I feel like the one in the palettes are more emollient, which they would need to be because they're not sealed, so they'll dry out faster, but they tend to crease a little bit more on my eyes. So when I do use them in the palette, I just top them over a powder shadow. But this is the Super Shock, and then there's the three glitters. And there are some pretty large chunks of glitter in those two. So those are the first three. Now we're going to swatch them glitters. These are all glitters. I'm just not that big of a fan. I really recommend a, a glitter glue for sure if you do use those, especially since there's some really large ones in those. And then these last three. This is a matte. This has got those matte with the sparkles in it, which again, I'm not the biggest fan of those ones either. I wish they'd just keep them matte, but anyway, where are the shades right there in the, what did I say it was called? Lovebird palette. It's my least favorite out of the three. And oh my gosh, you guys, that Night Owl palette and the, the Birds of Paradise. Beautiful, beautiful. I also purchased the Going Coconuts Pressed Powder Palette. I think I got this one off of their actual website, um, along with the two Disney palettes, the Frozen palettes. Don't come for me, but... I've never watched Frozen. <laughs> I'm probably the only person on the planet, but I've never seen Frozen. Anyway, here is the Going Coconuts. This again, probably one of my favorite palettes that ColourPop has done. It is the prettiest neutral palette. I'm slightly obsessed. Um, you have got four, uh, three shimmers, I would say. And then this shade down here is a matte with the sparkles in it. And then these are matte and those are matte. And it's just got the perfect range of mattes and shimmers, I feel like. It's it's just beautiful. beautiful. Neutral leaning cool is the best way I would describe it. And I just love it. This one is the plastic packaging and it does have a mirror in it. And again, these shadows are all removable as well. But I love this palette. It's so pretty. And then these guys. I 
I really scrubbed to get those pinks off, but they were not coming off. Probably because my skin is quite dry. Makes it harder for the pigments to come off, but so pretty. I just love this palette. If you guys get a chance, um, I think it's super affordable. There's a sale going on. I definitely recommend picking this one up. I think it's super pretty. So that one is the Going Coconuts right there, which I am going coconuts <laughs> buying all these palettes. <laughs> and then I have the Anna Pressed Powder Palette from the Frozen 2 movie, which <laughs> I, I think the packaging is just absolutely adorable. Um, I see Frozen everywhere, but again, I've, I've never seen the show, but whatever. Anyway, there is a mirror in this one. This is a cardboard packaging. There is one glitter in here. That's the only shade I'm not crazy about, but um, I wore this palette the other day as well. It's beautiful. It's a, just a really beautiful eyeshadow palette. I love like this matte orangey mustard shade with these purples. Just super, super stunning. I even used this shimmer underneath the brow and it turned out so pretty. I really like this one. So those are the first three and then these middle three. Here's that glitter. And then these bottom three. Right there. So that one is the Anna Pressed uh, Powder Palette from ColourPop right there. Very cute packaging. And then here is the Elsa Pressed Powder Palette right here. Um, this one I have not worn yet. There is one glitter in here as well, but the colors look very stunning. And again, I get along with the uh, Powder Shadow Formula from ColourPop really well. I really like this like periwinkle blue shade over there. Let's give me some swatches. I hope all these swatches are helpful for you guys. I know they have a really good sale going on right now, so. I bought that big neutral 30 shade palette. I think it's 30 shades. I like, cannot wait to get it. I think it's the same size as the So Jaded palette that they did with uh, Kathleen Lights. Oh my gosh, I really tried to get these off you guys. My skin is just super dry. I should have worn this palette today because it is the epitome of cold snowstorm outside right now like frozen for sure like we had freezing rain i'm so grateful the power didn't go out but it's sleeting right now and trying to snow and it's cold and windy but this would have been the perfect palette to to wear for today's weather <laughs> so this is the elsa palette right here um from ColourPop. i have just got glitter and swatches everywhere i can't get these off and then lastly here, I wanted to swatch this palette from Pixie. It's called the Layers Highlighting Palette Glow On. There are three highlighting powders that are 0 0.09 ounces and two that are 0 0.27 ounces, which is pretty substantial. But they had sent this over in a really pretty PR package where they collabed with, I think there was one, two, three, I think there was three influencers three or four influencers they collabed with and I had this for a while and I just started using it like a couple days ago and there is a uh, shade in here that works really pretty on my skin tone that I really like um I'm like why was I sleeping on this because the shades are really pretty I've got it on today it's the shade uh clutch right here which is one of the larger ones so I'm happy about that that's the highlight that I have on my face it's got a yellow under or a yellow uh, golden champagne type of undertone to it and I think it looks super pretty on the skin. I haven't toyed around with the other shades as much, but I've been using this particular shade quite a bit. So I wanted to swatch this guy for you guys. And also a big thank you to Pixie for sending over that really pretty PR package. Um, I wanna swatch a glitter eyeshadow that came in there as well and a little set for you guys that I have on my eyes today. But those are the smaller three on top. And you can find uh, Pixie, and I've seen this palette in Target as well. 
then there's this guy which is, might be a little bit better for me in the summertime and then this one which is so stunning right there that's the one I have on that lighter one like how pretty are those how pretty is that right this one's oh, this one's really pretty too for like my lighter skin tone these ones will, this one here will be pretty on a deeper skin tone but very nice right there so that is the layers highlighting palette right there from um, pixie then there was also this little eye and lip kit and it's the pixie plus miriam maquillage so that's her right there who's also an influencer and there's a lipstick in here as well that i'm gonna i'm not gonna swatch that one i'm gonna pass it on it is a pretty coral shade but it's one of those kind of liquid matte liquid lips that i'm just not crazy about the pixie formula however does have more silicones in them i don't feel like they dry down like a really budge proof liquid lipstick so they are a more comfortable version the product that i really wanted to swatch for you guys is this a mirage that comes in there and it is their glitter liquid glitter kind of topper eyeshadow the liquid fairy lights there we go <laughs> it's the liquid fairy lights that comes in this set and those are the little sparkles that you see on my eyes that's the air compressor downstairs and here's this uh fairy lights right here and i've got quite a few of these and i use them just like i use the stila um, as a glitter topper i put a little bit on my finger and then i just tap it over shadow that i already have on and that's what i did today with this and it's just really really beautiful super shimmery and super glittery and sparkly and i just think it's so pretty and this is how i prefer to use a glitter on the eyes because it already has the sticky base in it and i don't un unless i take and blend over it which i don't this is like the last step that i use um i don't get fallout on my face from products like this so there's the shade right there and there's like some pink and gold and green and just really pretty shadow in that one right there and again that's from pixie from the Miriam maquillage set and this is the shade mirage and that's everything for my haul today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful thank you for watching do not forget to wear sunscreen and i'll see you guys later bye